Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is where I put um, my free videos on Ableton, music production, all that kind of stuff. So feel free to like and subscribe, share with your friends if you're into this kind of thing. Um, this particular video is actually just uh, a seven minute glimpse into one of my private lessons. So I just threw a kind of weird, wonderful instrument from a sampler, all kinds of things through post-production. It's really quite interesting and uh, uh, also gives you a little insight how the lessons work with Zoom, um, my private lessons. So if you didn't know about that, I put a little link in the comments. At the moment, I am doing a better than half price deal due to Corona being so um, financially crippling for a lot of people. So that's been available for quite a while now and it will carry on for a little while longer. It's just basically a, a half price deal on eight hour lessons. And um, eight hours, a little group of eight hours. So, um, yeah, please enjoy and uh, see you later. We're going to make an instrument rack now. So, right. what we want to do is just try and find um, some kind of sound. Yeah, so maybe that. So I'm just going to throw that in there. Um, but what I want to do is bring it real close. So the start and end point has a similar velocity, see? Right, yeah. And then I'll go crop sample. Now, do you, when you're doing this, because um, I, you know, I was always yeah. shown, like, to grab the sample on, like, the right node and everything. So do yeah. you ever have, like... Uh, issues with like artifacts or anything when you do this no not really no to be honest artifacts are good like because it's sound design you're not trying to make a perfect thing you you kind of you want accidents to happen so you get okay these, right uh, right that makes sense yeah so what i'm going to do is if i come to the clip it's a little trick if i come to the volume i'm going to bring that down but then have it come up um, like that and then if I now consolidate it hopefully oh yeah I did it a bit too much so let's mm -hmm. try again let's just bring that one up like that let's try again so what I'm trying to do is kind of make it the same oh, almost let's try once more so let's just bring that a little bit more up that should be about it now, that, was that the volume yeah, or the yeah. velocity that you were? That was the volume here. Okay, yeah. so right, right. Double click, and it's the volume up here. Okay. Um, yeah. So now you can hear. It oh, sounds that's like cool. a sustained note. That's super eerie. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, that, so now what I can do is drag that into here. Oh wow! Look, that's nice. So um, yeah. what I want to do is bring the sample start a little bit ahead, and I'll tell you why we do that is that when I put it in sustain mode and I link them to up, I'll bring it back again, is that you can actually create a crossfade here. But you need a little bit of space at the beginning to create the crossfade. So if that was all the way to the left, I couldn't, I wouldn't have been able to do the crossfade there. So um, now if I listen to it. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I've got the pitch. That's awesome. And pitch envelope. So listen. Let's go up. So we got this kind of like crazy sound. So what I can do is, you know, I want to make it more of an instrument. So I want to get some dynamics. I might want to like a slow attack and we'll put some reverb. So if I go to Max Alive, you've got this convolution reverb, which can be quite nice. So I get another reverb. Oh, wow. And I'm using the auto filter to kind of create harmonics. So 
So this is kind of what I mean about kind of like sound design. From that a is of... awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> So that's um something I use a lot. That would just be like a cool like intro to an EP or something, like getting yeah, down with that for yeah. a minute. <laughs> so if I get this OTT, what the OTT does, it's a preset the multiband dynamics, and all it's doing is that it's just like smashing the compression at the low, mid, and high ranges. And what it does, it kind of like forces a load of high frequency onto the sound. So if I listen to it now. And you can hear there's like a, a hiss because it's too much. If I bring that about halfway, take it away. You hear how much that adds. Kind of lifts it up. I can even do the same again, but. So let's try a little chord. Sounds kind of cool as a chord. Yeah, that's awesome. So I'm trying to just have a huge reverb. Are those just higher notes? Yeah, they're just higher octaves. Okay. That's kind of cool, right? 